Welcome back to Figging Fruit Nursery and Orchard. I'm Troy and today we're going to do some talking about hormones uh, and what you might want to try to use, what works best. Uh, these are the two. I use Clonex and Hormidin, two, for fig cuttings. Um, and what we have here is two different trays. One is done in Clonex, this one right here. Let's have a look-see at this. We're going to look at the top of it. You can see how they've rooted. Now let's look at the bottom. Now you can see all the roots underneath. And this is the Clonex container. This here is the Hormone in 2 container show you the top you can see the roots coming out the tops of the container let's look at the bottom so and you can clearly see that there's way more roots on the Hormidin 2 than there is the Clonex um, and in some of these cuttings as you can see some of them haven't really woken up or done anything and what we're going to do is we're going to pull each one of these out and lay them out and look at them and just see which one has the most roots whether it's the Hormidin 2 or the Clonex you know and you could say at the initial site that obviously the Hormidin 2 has way more roots but let's pull it out and and look at them and see okay so I've got the ones that were in the Hormidin 2 all of these cuttings here were in Hormidin 2 there was 32 cuttings let's count and see what we had that rooted 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 16 cuttings, exactly half, rooted. Then we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 cuttings that didn't root but are still viable. So we had two cuttings that completely desiccated, died, didn't do anything, rotted out. Uh, and that just goes to show you what kind of numbers that was kind of All these cuttings were from the same tree All took the same day All washed the same all stuck the same the only difference was They was in the same pots the same soil mix everything the only difference was The horn the, the wax or not the wax, but the uh rooting hormone. I did use different wax with the different rooting hormones so I knew which was which. Kept it in my mind. So, alright, so there's what we got with the Hormidin 2. We'll have to get our next one done here and we will see what it looks like. Alright, so these are the Clonex cuttings. Uh, there's 17 of them that's got roots, although two of these have, two or three of them have very, this one, these two here have very little root on them. This one here has a little root. Um, we only had one cutting that was bad, and then we had three, six, nine, 10, 10 cuttings that did not do anything. They're still viable. But we're going to re-stick them. Uh, they're still viable. They didn't die. We only had one dead cutting in this bunch and 17 that rooted. But I want to show you something now. 
All right, I wanted to add something here to this. As I was potting up these ones that I had put Clonex, I got to examining them a little closer. And here's one that ain't got a lot of root on it. As you can see, it started to rot. And then I got to look at it and it's got rot right there. Next, here's another one I found. I got to looking at. This is all rotted down through here. It ain't got a lot of root on it. These, these are not viable. There's no point in potting them up. Don't see anything here. I'm just trying to look over these. Make sure there ain't no more of them here rooted or rotted. That one looks okay. So it looks like we had a couple. Here's one maybe. Yeah. It's got some rot there at the base. This one here is probably not worth trying to even pot up because it's only rooted at one little note here where the rest of this is just rotted out. I don't like, let's just cut this off and see what it looks like up here. Hey, that looks okay. We'll, we'll try to root that. But I don't feel like, let's cut this in half. Yeah, see that don't look very healthy. Uh, I'm, I'm not impressed with the uh, Clonex at this point on here. Just because it seems like it kind of rots cuttings. And you may or may have not heard that before, but maybe that's also why you have way less root development on the Clonex cuttings versus the Hormiting cuttings. All right, so there's, there's, there's some other interesting tidbits for you. You can clearly see which hormone has the most roots. This is Hormidin 2. There's 16 cuttings. This is Clonex. There's 17 cuttings. I, I, with the amount of roots that's on the Clonex, I, you know, I'm, I, or the amount of root, the amount of roots that are on the Hormidin 2. I mean, to me, that seems like to be, in this trial, in those, seems to be the best. Uh, I think I'm going to start leaning more on, when it comes to hardwood cuttings, I'm just going to be using Hormidin 2 and not using the Clonex. I will use the Clonex on my green cuttings and my little baby cuttings. And I'll use it as a as like I'll put it on there and let it dry on the cutting before I stick it. I think that that would probably be better uh, because the ones that I've done that way have seemed like on the little cuttings have done well. But in this particular setting, uh, to me, the Hormidin Two is clearly the winner with way more group development and. You know, sometimes cuttings die. So whether I had two cuttings or one cutting, one or two, that could just be the cuttings when it comes to death. Kind of like we're almost at the same number of cuttings that didn't take. You know, we've only got one more cutting that took with the Clonex than we did the Hormidin II. But you look at the roots on all of the Hormidin II cuttings that took, they're loaded with roots and are beginning secondary cut roots where 
these clonexes, there's just not near as much root development, nowhere near as much growth, nowhere near as much secondary roots. So, looks like to me in my book for fig cuttings, Hormidin 2 is going to win the day. Thanks for watching.